Hi everyone, Joshua Stuck here with another Woodsy Dude video. I'm out in the woods today goofing around and I thought I'd make a short little video on how to start a fire using nothing but just a little magnifying glass and some punk wood that I found from a dead uh, rotting tree. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Stick around and I'll show you how that works. Okay, searching around for different things to add to my bird's nest to help me start my fire once I get the punk wood ignited with the magnifying glass. I'll start blowing on that, making the ember grow stronger and stronger. And I then need a bird's nest of some sort in order to burst that into flame. So I'm coming to this uh, paper birch here and there's some little pieces of the birch bark that are just kind of hanging off. I would never cut into a live birch and damage the tree, but some of this little stuff that's just hanging on the edges here, you can use this to um, to help you start your fire. It's, it's like having a, a handful of, of paper. Uh, it works really, really well. So I'm just gonna gather a little bit of this and add it to my, um, my bundle here of my dry grass that I've been gathering and everything else. So I'll just collect a little bit of this and then we will get started. So I'm just looking for dry, thin <clears throat> grass. There's some there's some thicker grass here that might work well, but I don't know about that as much. So I'm trying to get some of the thinner, smaller stuff to work with. I'll try it both and see if it works. So I've got some birch bark now. I've got some dry grass. Now I'm gonna find some punk wood and we're gonna try and start our fire with a magnifying glass. So stay tuned. Okay, I found a nice log here that's got some punky wood. And all I'm gonna do is take my knife and try and break off a good dry chunk of that. I'm gonna try and get a couple of pieces just for backup. Make sure that I've got something that'll take and catch a spark well. I think I think those should probably work pretty well. So we'll see. Okay. I'm holding this up against the tree just for stability and to give you a backdrop so that you guys can see a little bit better. I'm going to try and concentrate the the light. I start out with a large circle, bring it down and try and make it as small of a pinpoint as you possibly can. You can see it's already starting to smoke, or hopefully you can see, but it is. And you try and kind of work in a little bit of a circle around where it starts to smoke. Keep trying to burn that edge in and get it to smolder. Just keep working your way around the edge. Just trying to grow the ember. I'm going to add some of my birch bark that I gathered.
There we go. And now you've got yourself a nice fire. Takes a little time. Okay, so that's how you make a fire using a magnifying glass. Why would you use a magnifying glass when clearly you've got, say, a ferro rod right there on your knife sheath or in my pocket? I've got over here a lighter. Why would you use magnifying glass? Well, the short answer is practice. The more you practice with different alternative methods for lighting a fire, the better you are going to be at making fires, knowing how fires work, what materials and components you need to put together to make your fire successful. And you're just practicing with different types of ways of making fire. That way you are not solely dependent on just having a lighter with you or just having matches or just only knowing how to use a ferro rod. Now you can use all kinds of different things, all different ways, and you're gonna get better and better. So please go out there, grab a magnifying glass, look for some punk wood. Now I'll tell you this right now, <clears throat> not all punk wood works the best. Um, I had to search around, find different punk wood that was gonna work. I've used punk wood and I've gotten it to smolder and then it doesn't actually create that ember that you need. So you have to experiment and practice, learn about where you live, what kinds of wood it makes good punk wood, make sure it's really, really dry. Um, you just have to go out, goof around into the woods and see what you can find, what you can uh, use and play around and make some fire. So I'm Joshua Stuck with another Woodsy Dude video. Thanks for watching.